Okay, so um, you want to ensure to that before you proceed with the connection, that you have um, you make sure that you have your um, wiring diagram before you, so that it will be easier for you to trace. Um, okay, so um, actually I have mine in front of me. I'm actually looking at it, so it's going to be easier for me to connect. So I'll go ahead and connect all the. Um, okay, yeah, I need my Arduino. Yep. Um, here's my Arduino. Okay. So I will go ahead and connect using the yellow jumpers. I'll um, the yellow jumpers are my data. Are going to be my data cables. Um, so I'll connect from pin zero. Okay. To pin or segment pin A. Okay, um, so th and that's on the second pin, then for pin 1, pin 1 will be connected to segment pin B, is towards, second towards the end for the 4 digit unit. Okay, then pin 2 will be connected to pin C, actually pin C is down here. So um, let me, I'm going to use a longer jumper cable and um, segment pin C is the fourth pin down here. That's from my diagram. Please ensure you are using your diagram as well. Okay, so um, pin 3 will go to um, pin, pin segment or segment pin D is the second down here. Okay, then for E. Okay, this one is quite short. Let me get a longer one. Wow, this is quite long, but this will do. Okay. All right, then um, now we want to connect. We've connected. This is for segment pin A connected to zero. Um, segment pin. B connected to one. This is um, okay. Segment C pin pin on the four digit unit is connected to pin pin two. Then um, segment pin D on the seven segment four digit seven segment is actually connected to pin okay. Where is it? Pin four and also pin five connected to um, segment pin 5 is actually connected to um, pin 4 on your Arduino board. So I'll go ahead and connect for segment pin F which is um, actually connected from pin 5 and um, segment pin F is located next to pin A here. Yeah? Okay, the longer one again. <clears throat> So this is for pin G, that's um, pin 6 and segment G is located down here, close to C. Okay, okay, maybe I should just look at this. Alright, so we're going to do um, a parallel connection um, using the white jumpers to the two digit units. Okay, so let me from um, let's connect pin A. This is pin A. Okay, connected to yes. Okay, put a mark in here. So I'll just quickly go through it. Um, you can use your diagram to move quickly. Okay, this is for pin B. Okay, then for C. Connected here and D D is here connected to it's close here 
right? I'm following my diagram. Please ensure you are using yours. Okay, then I'm going to connect pin E. It's connected down here. And it's connected, it's the middle. Middle, middle. Okay. Then F. It's connected here. And it's connected on the two digit units. It's connected, it's the last. Then last one is G. Okay, last one is G. Okay, G is connected here. All right, so we have our parallel connection to the two digit, two digit um, seven segment units. Okay, now we want to go ahead and connect our power to our power um, cables which will be connected to each of the power lines for the six segments. So we're going to connect for pin 8. Pin 8 through pin 13 is what we're going to use for our connection. So um, this will go to S1. If you're using the map, S1 means segment 1, S2 segment 2, then S3 segment 3, through to segment 6 which is um, S6 okay so I'll go ahead and connect this here for segment 1 and pin 9 oops made a mistake here let me do this uh, okay this is this should be here and this should be okay it should be here for segment two. Ten is connected here. Segment three. And um, okay, we need a longer one. Okay, let's use. Um, actually, I'm going to use a red one this time around. Okay, um, connected to. Down here, then for these two digits, you're going to connect your power to from pin pin 12, which will be connected to S1, that's X5 in this case for this one, and um, pin 13 on the Arduino board is connected to um, S6, which is for segment 6. All right, so um, we're done with the connection. So we would go ahead and connect our USB cable and um, program it with the Arduino IDE.